Welcome to 74 in 74, where we dedicate 74 seconds to tell you what's coming up in our very own independent cinema this week here at Exeter Phoenix. Welcome to March. Um, so Ali and Ava comes to our screens this week. We shared a preview of this film in Feb, and I'm very excited to be bringing it back for a full run. Ali and Ava meet on the school run and bond over music, humour and community. As they find ways to block out the stresses and differences affecting their fate, their connection grows stronger. His contemporary love stories about life and obstacles by Cleo Bonnard, who has picked up a few BAFTA nominations along the way, um, and it views with great cinematic quality, proving that British cinema can really cut it. Ali and Ava's relationship plays out on screen in a way that helps you understand how two individuals can be at the mercy of others, such as children, grandchildren, in-laws, culture, religion, all playing a part at sticking their noses in and ultimately deciding the fate of this couple together. I took great joy from scenes showing the pair reverting to a teen-like status, bonding over music, splitting headphones to pass on the emotional experience of banging tunes. Um, it's just amplifying how the couple find a way to block out the external noise and factors which affect their fate. Um, the performances are rather incredible. Wheel of Fortune and Fantasy visits us for a few screenings as well. This Japanese love story depicts um, an unexpected love triangle, failed seduction traps, and an encounter that results in a misunderstanding. We have stories about the complexities of relationships told through coincidences that happen in the lives of these women. Uh, this deserving winner of the Silver Bear from the Berlin Film Festival was screened at BFI London Film Festival and follows up Drive My Car by the same director, Hamaguchi who already figures prominently in award uh, nominations. This film is warm, it's tantalising, and it's intimate. Um, and if you're unable to come and see it, we will also have a virtual screening of this film available on our website. Um, and if you love Japanese cinema, check out this week's Japan touring programme where we've got Ora Orobi Going Alone, um, which is about 75-year-old Momoko, and she lives alone on the outskirts of Tokyo, and she's built a family and has lived happily there for about 55 years. Um, and her plans for a peaceful twilight years with her husband are thwarted when he dies suddenly. But then she finds companionship in other ways. It's delivered with humour, care and outstanding performances. And this film will bring joy and inspiration to all who view. Details of all screening times are available on the screen.